This is the second section of the trig identities and equations. And here we can find some exact values. And these are useful to know, even though you can do these on your calculator. And they're both based on triangles. So if I have a look at this triangle at the top, we actually started with an equilateral triangle, which was split down the middle. OK, so start with an equilateral triangle. Every side is two in this equilateral triangle and we split it down the middle. So if we split it down the middle, then actually we're not really interested in this side anymore. And then what we have is a triangle where we've got 30 degrees at the top, uh, 60 degrees at the bottom. And using Pythagoras, we can work out the length of AD as root three. Now, we can then work out the exact values of sine, cos or tan 30 or sine, cos or tan 60. The triangle at the bottom is an isosceles triangle. So we know the two angles are 45 degrees. Again, using Pythagoras, we can work out that this side is root two. So we can find the exact values of sine, cos and tan 45. And these values are useful to remember. And we could probably summarize them in a table if you wanted to. Right, find the exact value of sine negative 210. Right, so first thing, what's this equivalent to? C A S T. So 210, so 0, 90, 180, 270. Right, negative 210. Well, this is the same as negative 180. So negative 210 is going to be here, which means that this is 30 degrees. So to get negative 210, I've gone round like that. So we now put in the cross, find out all these other angles that have got the same value, maybe an opposite sign. So there we go. Now we've landed in the part, part of the cast diagram where sine is positive, and here it's positive. So sine negative 210 actually has the same value as sine 30 and the same side or the same sign. So I can work out the exact value of sine 30. So just remember this is one, this is two, this is root three. Uh, this one here is 30, that's 60. So sine 30 is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it's actually exactly a half. Let me just put that down. So all without a calculator. So you should now be able to do exercise 10b on page 209. So Remember your two triangles like this, which we can use to find these um, exact values. So here's one of them. And uh, the other one was the isosceles, wasn't it? Here you got 45 in both places there. Yeah, and you can use those to work out the exact values and also your cast diagram you can use as well.